guys hi everyone thank you for waiting julie is here uh, let me know if you can hear me well today we will be drawing a beautiful golden gates of san francisco and this live stream is devoted to unprecedented fires which you probably know are now in california's in california now so we will be drawing this picture you i i'm sure you have seen a lot of, of them on instagram this week and it looks like it's looks like something apocalypse here and it looks like we are all on mars and um, i would like to devote this a live stream to uh, to nature to our planet and the, that we should take care of our planet and that nothing can be taken for granted and we must appreciate our beautiful nature and take care of it and to support all people who are in california now stuck in their homes uh, because of these fires and we all pray and hope that everything will be sold in the nearest days so we will be drawing this beautiful picture which i could not believe could exist ever so it's just amazing colors here so what we will need today for drawing we will need pencils uh, soft chalks paper i will be using crafted paper beige tone and pastel pencils and chalks so i have prepared some chalks here mostly of orange and uh, red white colors and um, i will just give you a few minutes to get ready and we are starting now so guys i'm just switching the camera and in 40 45 minutes you will get get a beautiful picture of the golden gates guys so switching my camera now uh, let me know if you can see it well if you are watching on instagram then join my uh, youtube channel there you, know, you can see from the comfort of your computer on a big screen and it will be more con uh, convenient e and easy for you to draw with me so and i will be using brown pencil for sketching this beautiful picture if you watch on my youtube channel then you see it's on the left so we will be drawing this um, golden gates of san francisco today guys and it's a little bit of um, can be complicated for you if you are beginners so i will uh, make it easier step by step in order not to make you frustrated so all about this picture is we are dividing uh, the paper into three parts so this part is a little bit smaller and like three parts and this is one of third part and you can use your chalk and make this orange all around for the beginning but be careful because if it's um, you, you it's better to check with your pencils if you can draw on your chalk if it's too hard it probably can be too difficult so then just make a sketch with your pencil and then you will fill this background with your chalk or if you are sure that your chalk is uh, pretty um, soft then you can just make this background lightly and we will be drawing with the pencil now on it so it will be easy for you to create this background so it's a little um, bit hmm, like if you will look at the picture at the left you will see this golden gate with, which is um, one of the most recognizable gates in the world guys so uh, it will be go uh, it will be all about the rules of perspective so we will start drawing our lines from here and they will go wide and then it will go in one point so it's all about perspective here and i'm just um, giving you an idea how to draw it easily and effortlessly so you don't need to have any background of drawing before and we are making this um, step from step and if you have a ruler and it's difficult for you to sketch then you can just use um, a ruler to make straight lines if it's difficult for you to make it from your hand so just put a ruler and um, 
make a straight line or you can use a piece of paper or something just to make straight lines here like this so don't hesitate to use something to help you um, because it's not like something necessary that you can uh, do from your hand and now we will be just sketching our bridge which is actually burning on this picture and if you see it goes there far away and this part of the bridge will be much smaller so first I would sketch this part of the golden gates which is actually pretty long and it's uh, like I checked with Wikipedia it's about um, 2737 meters long so it's really uh, big um, bridge and now we will be putting it on the ground and if you have been there like I have been there several years ago and have seen it you wouldn't even imagine that this kind of picture is possible to see any in your time so when my friends from San Francisco sent me this photo I couldn't believe that this is happening in real life like it's so many things and um, are going now and happening that we just can't imagine that it is possible to see such pictures and in one way it's very sad in other way as an artist we are usually the purpose of artists is one of the purposes of artists are to reflect um, the real life where they are living and to show what is going on so and this is a picture just to keep uh, why I want uh, you to draw today just to keep in mind that it's so um, important to take care about ourselves our nature all is around and all about I know that everybody is talking about um, warming global and all these things but it's really important to be aware aware of it because nothing can be taken for granted and everything is so fragile and we can see it so we have created uh, this kind of picture now sketched and now I will put a step here and make another lines down and here I will draw a reflection on the water and I will go up so probably I will see that it must go down and my line is too high so then I will make it smaller here and just correct this line here because I see that it's too high so I'll just make it like this because I want to see this bridge and it's smaller and to keep the rules of perspective it's going somewhere and it mustn't be very clearly seen so it's okay if you don't go into much details here because um, it's far away and we can only just keep in mind in imagination how it looks and almost it's like everything on fire and it's all in smoke so it's okay if it won't be drawn perfectly there so we can afford this like it's a kind of we are walking in a kind of sketch so we are not um, showing too many details here it's not our purpose we are just reflecting and showing what is going on and we are playing a great role to the colors of this picture because if you see it would be very unbelievable colors like orange uh, yellow and the bridge is red so now I will go for the red uh, pencil today I'm drawing with Contep Paris so I will use it but I know that many of you are drawing with Derwent pencils many of my students and also Stabila pencils they all are fine for creating this beautiful picture today so actually we are what we are doing now we're just adding color to our picture and we are coloring the bridge in its original red color so I'm drawing some structural things here you can just give like uh, I have told already just an idea of these structures it's as it's not so particularly important here uh, all these details now because we are showing this 
um, I would say like a apocalyptic picture <laughs> mostly we are drawing today unfortunately it's the truth of life what is going on but it's really unbelievable like it's never ever have been seen before so I'm just adding a little bit of shadows here but first I would say we would go with lines for dark brown to show the shadows and then we will drop some lights because the lights will be on the upper construction side and here I can just drop some shadows and what um, I'm doing here is I'm just going down and I will also show this zigzag line here if you can see it guys so it's just zigzag line going and you can also show or give an idea of this zigzag line here and um, I will keep red and um, I will drop a little bit of brown here and a little bit of light I would say I would drop here and now I need some shadows here so you can use dark brown or maybe even purple if you wish just to show these shadows and here and then we will drop some lights because everything is under the fire here so you can drop with white uh, with red uh, with yellow brown and red to show that it's um, some probably reflections here I'm not pretty sure that it will be some traffic uh, seen because it's too in a, in a smoke but now what will be drawn here is we will show the hills so we will just mm, draw a hill going up here and it goes like here and some kind of I don't know like trees you can show in the lines like this and then it will go down but we actually can see it, it because of the fire so and it will be going here as well and I will show it in a very thoughtless way and manner and then we will work with the reflection so I will just drop a few lines here and also you can use chalk if you wish just to show a light here light will be going everything under the light here you can drop some light here to hello and it will be a light going on this line as well so it's under the fire so we actually can see all the reflections and i give you a few seconds just to uh, catch catch with me so I'm giving you time in order let me know if um, I'm too fast or not so now we will be using red to create the reflection of the river and we are not using any blue I would say here so this will be the shadow dropping down so we are just dropping a little bit of water here and all we are going to create now is just just this look of red and orange and lights reflections on the water and look guys it's really like incredible it seems like we are on Mars here not in anywhere in San Francisco but probably it's like um, a great walk and play of colors here because it's all very monochromic red and yellow and brown so and i will drop a, a light here and i'm doing like strokes going in this way and a, a reflection will be here i'm just dropping and just show you how to create it so and yellow round and then the water reflection and you can drop a little bit of use your finger if you wish just to and a little bit of light here as well so we 
we actually can drop light here and a little bit of maybe blue we can just show just to make this drama um, and I will go for the heel and it will be like more brown here and here it will be like a shadow because we can't see it it's in the frog so you can use orange red and um, yellow as well so just use your fingers or blenders if you prefer to use to keep your fingers clean then you can use this paper blenders um, and now we'll go on the top of the heel here we probably can see it a little bit more than what is going on here so we actually just can't properly see because it's far away and we just give an idea of what is going on so the light will drop also here as well and it will be a lot of light here we'll add just in a few minutes and then I'm going to the heel and mixing the colors so you can use a little bit of orange, ye yellow, um, yellow, red and keep this trees like this it really looks like a dragon I would say and it creates this drama so now I will show how to add these yellow lights so don't use too much red here in order we can drop some light and orange as well as here so I will just walk a add a little bit of details on the bridge so uh, let's mm, take a pencil and we will draw these lines here so they will go just keep in mind so they are going down as yes, it's a, actually a suspension bri bridge so we need to show it and it's probably one of the most recognizable bridge in the world so you, I'm, I'm sure that all of you can easily recognize it and many of you can probably have seen it so and we are just if something goes not perfect you just can use your finger it's fine and then another line repeating the same so just keep in mind they're not crossing they're on different sides of the bridge so you go down here and then up like this yeah so it's already we have to add some lights and create this beautiful sky so and we are actually like on the halfway of it to it so um, I would add some shadows down the bridge maybe use your blue or dark brown uh, you can use with, uh, walk with the side of your chalk here and just drop some shadows under the bridge as well so like this and not mix uh, mixing too much not, not to keep it clean enough so now I will be using this bright yellow chalk here and I will go in different directions so look how I'm walking so I'm actually walking left and right this movements so I'm not walking in one direction but I'm moving around you see to create this fire and the same is here and then you can drop some light here as well so if you have gone on your pictures and you can always correct with your pencil and that is something like I really love about pastels that you can always correct it and add some um, some details and the same now I'm going with orange chalk I'm doing it just repeating these lines and I have this yellow here you can see and I'm not pressing now too much because I want to create this air perspective here you see so this I will leave like this for dramatic look and here I will just blend a little bit and not pressing a lot and probably you can use a side going from left to right and 
just up on these red strokes and just mix it. And this is like you can blend it or leave it like this for the sky. And now let's go for the for adding some details on our bridge and lights. So here I would add a little bit of structure. So keep in mind that the lines must, must be like in one way we are not into details here, but another way we just keep the lines of the structure of perspective. So check that everything is straight because it's architectural drawings here. And um, you can also drop, I would say, this yellow here to light the bridge. Yeah, so look, it's already very dramatic. Let me know what you think about and the bridge is going in far away so we just blend it so it's just disappearing it's just disappear let me know what you are thinking about this drawing and let's add some details here so there will be the straight lines all around going down so keep it wider here and then they will go narrow here it's how the bridge is connected and then you go and draw the same here so wider and then more narrow keeping perspective in mind like a clever artist you do and um, so and then, then you disappear the slides far away and you can also walk a little bit more uh, with the river so you just can drop a little bit of red here I would say and I will add some lights with white chalk here so I will light up this part of the picture it's a fire here and we will add with yellow and also we can drop lights everywhere like you can lit your bridge or do this lights on this side so I will just show you how I will be putting a little bit of chalk here and here and just make it randomly and then you can use yellow and white in the middle so then it will be like not um, circles but some uh, flashes I would say flashes in the light and also flashes here and you can add the strokes to show the river here as well and if it's too bright then just blend it with yellow yellow light going all, all around and you can use more dark yellow for the drama if you wish to add some dramatic look here and then you just add in randomly the slides so you can first use this bright yellow here and here and just go in all around as many lights as you wish guys just to light up this bridge and you can use also uh, lights here and from both parts of the bridge and just add in this dramatic look you can add inside this a little bit of white then and then you go with darker yellow around so blend and do like this so and now I will be going all around adding a little bit of orange so and a little bit of light and you will see it will just create this beautiful fire uh, let me know how you are doing now if it's okay if I'm too fast so it's all about like now adding these lights and details and a little bit of white here as well and you can just add 
this random lights to make it really dramatic look yeah and what it's all about walking if you need some details you can add with the bridge here use your pencil going up and it's down and then this reflection here just you can go with your chalk down and it will be actually the darkest part here so you can add a little bit of blue or dark brown here as well just to show this horizontal line here it will be also going somewhere here and i will just blend a little bit the lights and this light is going here and also some lights are here and it will be the light all around this way and somewhere here and in the sky you can add some splashes in the sky as well and um, it's just a reflection of the mood and the, you can add some brown strokes here as well so just a little bit of them Just a little bit of more brown here or you can use red as well so let me know guys if you have already finished it I will just give you time to correct like it's very a sketch manner drawing like we are not going into much details we're just giving an idea of what is going on uh, but another way it's a really great picture to create just to keep in mind and to keep it in um, memories so i'm adding a little bit of yellow here to lit up the bridge and here and you also can drop on the top and on some lights and here as well so let me know guys how it's going and i'll just correct a little bit of here so if you can just blend it and check that the structure is going in it's probably will be easy to work with these details with pencils but i will just have a look go a little bit aside i have a look how it looks like i'm pretty happy with the drawing guys so we'll just check it with the frame here as well and drop light so and a little bit of yellow and now we will check with the mountain it really looks fantastic guys i'm not sure if you can see it on instagram but on youtube you can definitely see it it's really fantastic picture we have got here so i'm looking forward to see your beautiful artworks guys don't forget to share with me if you are not still subscribed on my youtube channel please subscribe the link is on my instagram profile and also subscribe my instagram and my youtube channel send your beautiful artworks and i will share with them on my instagram account so let me know in comments what you think and i'm looking forward guys for our next live stream with you i hope you enjoyed this drawing so i'm just continue to add in some details here and there and everywhere but it's already um, a finished piece of art which you can frame and actually can decorate your room or give make a gift to your friends 
it's a great piece we have created today so thank you guys for watching and drawing with me today we have created a beautiful golden gate picture today devoted to the california's fires which are unprecedented and in support to all people who are stuck in their homes in uh, california we created this beautiful picture during our live stream please like and subscribe to my youtube channel and instagram i really love you and wish you has stay safe love you julia bye bye see you soon